we didn't realize it. God brought it to our attention like you guys are really going down a slippery slope. Welcome. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And if you're not here for the first time, welcome back. So, yes. it's been a while. We had a baby. Oh, straight to it. We had a baby. Oh, yeah. So, y'all can see we're kind of a little bit quiet right now. Um, he's napping next to us. <laughs> so, we don't want to be too loud, but we did want to come on and just give some life updates. Yes, life updates. So, yeah. So, thank God we had our baby. We're going to actually do like life with a newborn in a separate video because there are things that are different now, obviously. But we wanted to talk about other like life updates and just things that we've been walking through since the last video, which was second trimester second trimester which a lot has happened since then so he may end up being in this video in a carrier <laughs> because the way he said, hey i don't want to sleep i don't want to be over there by myself i want to be with mommy and dad okay so yeah there's different things that have been going on i do have on a sports bra because we're multitasking i felt the need to point it out because you can kind of see it oh. So. Anyway, all right, so, yeah, things, a lot of things have changed. I mean, of course, I was preparing for the child, so let's start, I guess we can start with third trimester. Yeah, so we had a baby shower. Yes, it was Shout amazing. Shout out to everyone who supported us at the shower, who came down and who couldn't, um, mm -hmm. who sent us a gift, who's prayed with us, who's walked with us, um, and continuously has walked in with us. Um, truly thankful to her. Shower was amazing. Um, the people that helped put it on, Ebby, Bree, my yes. our parents, uh, people who came down, Kelsey, uh, my brothers. A lot of people came down uh, from saying, different locations. Just out. All my homeboys, they helped yeah. all our homegirls, Lex and Nelly, and um, just all the people who really helped us. Like we really appreciated it um, more than you all would ever know. Yeah. And as you can see, she's having to leave the video again because little man is. Hearing our voices and like, is it time to get up? But yes, yeah, that was an amazing time. So thank you guys so much. We had like an amazing time at our shower. The games were fun. The games were fun. And the food was good. Yes, it was. Oh my Tunes was right. Had, was like, so it was amazing. Yeah, it was great. To see all our friends and family come and just support us. Yeah, supporting because it is. Support a him. I mean, big thing bringing him and baby into him. the world. And it's our first child. So it's like, you don't, you're starting from scratch. You don't have no baby stuff. Like we don't casually have bottles that we can just pull out once he gets here and all that kind of stuff. Like you have to get everything. You need it's to good to have a support system. People and community mm -hmm. around you who support you and can help you and you know, mm -hmm. know what it means to be a village. Right. And we've seen our village, you know, and still come together now. Mm -hmm. um, it's yes. really been helpful to us. Glory to God because mm -hmm. You know, this stuff that we prayed for, mm -hmm. you know, before even having children or before having our first child, you know, even in the season where we had the miscarriage, it was like, mm -hmm. you know, God, your will, your way. We mm -hmm. just submitted to it, you know, so it's just good to see everything, you know, coming to fruition now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we had a baby shower. What else? Baby shower. And then we can talk this briefly. We'll talk probably more about it in another video, but... We had our delivery on July 4th. Yeah. And he came and that the whole experience like brought us closer together, closer to God, yes. <laughs> close to each other. It made us really like honor and respect like parents, parenthood, motherhood, all the things. Um, so I won't go too deep into that story. That story yeah. will be for the next video. Also but. a big um, thing that I guess we kind of announced to friends and family um, mm -hmm. and uh, others who are close to us, we end up denouncing um, well, we made it public, more mm -hmm. public to people who we knew. Mm -hmm. We didn't make anything like on social media or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, I mean, I guess this, this is the first time we'll be saying something on social media about it. Mm -hmm. But um, actually, a year or two ago, we actually renounced, but we sent in our um, denounce, denouncing letters recently, mm -hmm. a couple months ago. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, towards the beginning of this year, I want to say. Mm, yeah. yeah, we sent those letters in and it just was the Lord, you know, being speaking to us and telling us like, hey, you know, we saw the trend that everybody was doing, but mm. for us, it, when we first started dating, God was speaking to us in 2019, like, hey, mm. you know, don't put other gods before me, don't put out, 
make things idols that are before me and you all done that in your lives mm -hmm. so i need you to submit that to me read that from yourselves and mm -hmm. turn back to the father so that's what we end up doing and um, a lot of praying a lot it was of, hard yeah it was literally a years long process like it wasn't like a like when we talked about it back when we were dating i mean we renounced it but i mean for myself i can say like i kept a lot of things private because i was like very like you know i'm making this decision but i don't want anyone to know i don't want anyone to think of me differently or mm -hmm. you know be bombarded with questions or anything like that like i just when kind of soundly do it, but God convicted me. It's like, that's not, that's not really living for me. That's not boldness. Yeah. You know, that's not boldness. And so if you truly believe in what you the decision you're making, you should be able to say it in private, in public, or, you know, wherever, to whomever. And so, you know, that's what he was dealing with me for like the past couple of years of actually being bold and understanding and actually making it. And part of that is just really making the decision because you can decide something in private if it's not in public, it's not really a real decision <laughs> until you're able to do it, you know, no matter what's going on and stand, you know, 10 toes on what you've decided to do, no matter what's happening. So we thank God for that. It was really hard. You yeah, know, that was we, a hard season. It was like, it is because you're battling yourself, really. Yeah, you're you know? battling their flesh and, man, Pride, friendships and, yeah. you know, are people going to judge me? All these different things just come with it. But it really does show you the goodness of how much God truly loves you yeah. and he wants what's best for you right. um and you know in that process sometimes others won't be able to see and understand that yeah. which is okay you know but more than anything we're called to honor god and live for him so when he you know gives you something or give us something we got to be obedient right. and that's what we try to be all the time so obedient and honest about it mm -hmm. you know like yeah what, what was the bible say about secret hidden love like public open rebuke is better than hidden love mm -hmm. so i feel like god was showing me like you're Hiding your love for me, you know, something that I've called you to do, to walk in, that's an act of love, obedience, and you're hiding it, you know, and so, yeah, so we thank God, yep. that is, you know, a decision that we walk through, uh, individually, obviously, but together, encouraging each other in that, so that happened this, since the, like, the final step of that happened since the last video, mm -hmm. see what else happened since the last video, um, we, but we've been spending a lot more time together in yep. the Word, yep, um a lot more time together yeah, that's been amazing we've been doing this thing god kind of put it on my heart to where we drop everything in word time so you know i know for myself um can get consumed with so many different things going on throughout mm -hmm. our life work phone social media video games whatever like you got going on church just doing life mm -hmm. and then you kind of mix god into the motions of the things that you're doing but god was just telling me like hey the importance before your son even comes into the world of building a firm foundation of getting the word with your wife you know i know y'all getting the word separate but individually yeah, it's cool but building a foundation of getting in the word together to really dissecting the word praying and seeking god together in that oneness and what he's telling us and speaking to us which has been very amazing and helpful mm -hmm. for us a lot of fruit has come from it mm -hmm. um it's brought us closer together i think intimacy wise and um, just relationally and just in our word. Um, it's been truly amazing. Yes. And as you see, you know, wifey has to continue to go, you know, tend to little man. Oh, the And I guess y'all are going to get to see him a little bit right now. I yeah. know one thing. I ain't going to keep getting up, so he just have to sit down here. Okay. There he is. He's sweeping. Yeah, he just want to get some sleep. And he wants to be my mama or daddy when he's sleeping. And probably we're waking them up because we're talking. So there's, that's another thing. Yeah. We're, we are kind of disrupting the night time, but yes. that's okay. But yeah, I mean. But yeah. Oh yeah, we also got a new vehicle. Yeah, uh, glory we did. We got a new car. We got a new car. It was such a blessing because we know we wanted to get like, I saw the car that I had since college. Mm -hmm. um, Dexter has the, has the Challenger. But we wanted to get a car that was more like baby friendly, has like more safety features. Like my car from college is all manual, mm -hmm. doesn't have an alarm system or anything like that. Is really the sturdiest in terms of like you know the physical safety. And obviously the Challenger putting a oh can you even fit anything in the back seat of that? I mean he probably could have fit. We would have to pull the seat yeah, out. It'd been tight. Yeah. For me. But it was just yeah we knew yeah. it was time for something new. We yeah, were seeking to asking God like hey 
when and how and where mm -hmm. and what why is this gonna happen right. you know because you know you're trying to figure out funds a lot of the times you right. know god bless us with a house what two years ago now yeah going um, on two years oh um, we bought the house in two yeah two years yeah. ago yep yeah. so you know just trying to get things in line like, all right god what does that look like for us and right. of course he made a way i made Amazing. a story behind that we went to a dealership and you know god just told me one because the money i've been saying for like weeks like hey babe eventually we need to go look at a car and i'm like mm -hmm. yeah we go do it i'm not a big purchase person so mm -mm. and then one saturday day yeah one saturday morning god just spoke to me and kind of was like when I woke up, the urge of like, hey, go look at, mm. you know, cars. So we went to the dealership and, you know, of course they say don't go the first time, the first dealership you go to, don't take that first offer. So we went, sat there, mm. gave us, like did some back and forth negotiations and kind of wasn't where we wanted. Mm. And it wasn't the car, it was the car we wanted, but it wasn't the color, mm. the, the things we wanted. And we've seen God go beyond whatever we can ever think or imagine. Mm -hmm. Even when we bought a house. So we just like, okay, all right. I'm like, all right, well, God, I know you told me to go out here and look, so we looked. Right. But then, as we left the dealership, the Lord was speaking to me. He was like, hey, my supervisor at work had just told me that his son had just bought a car from dealership out a little bit not too far from us mm -hmm. at another dealership. And I'm like, okay. And in the moment, I thought about it. I, mean, I knew that was the Holy Spirit speaking to me. And I told her, I was like, look online and see what they got. She looked online, it was the exact, the exact car we want. Yeah. Color, sunroof, everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, no way. So Cause they didn't have that at the and the, the other dealership we were looking at, they were trying to give us less from way more expensive. Yeah, like a different yeah. color, didn't have all the functions. And we like, okay, we just want a car that's good enough for we just need the payment to be, to be in the range of Yeah, we didn't want to pay no crazy payments because y'all know inflation right now is crazy and everything's mm -hmm. expensive so we like no nah, that ain't it god's will for us so we're not gonna do that that's not wise but what ended up happening is we was like all right let's just drive up to the dealership we drove up to mm -hmm. it i mean as soon as we got on the lot mm -hmm. we you could feel the presence of god like okay so the dealership was a christian dealership mm -hmm. um the guy that we worked with he was a minister, um, mm -hmm. firm believer in Christ, um, shared the gospel with us. We shared it with him. We just talked, you know, and communicated, yes. you know, through just how God is amazing through our testimonies. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the process was super smooth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was one moment in the process. He was like, all right, this a little bit over our budget. So we left out of the negotiation room and He's we talking. started talking. And I kid you not, within 10 seconds, the guy came and was like, we just gonna look we gonna go it. with the price y'all mm -hmm. want and let's sign the last document we like Thank say less lord. come on lord because <laughs> at this point it was nighttime we was yeah. out there you know, looking at cars all day so yeah so we got a new car so thank god for that and we really mm -hmm. really like it it's super safe and it's great for like having him and then the back seat and there's still plenty of room mm -hmm. for like people in the front seat you know storage and things like that and really just those safety features. Like I said, my car is manual, so. Yeah, and, it's, and I think it's even, I think the beauty part. Windows. Yeah, yeah, the beauty part, I think about the testimony of getting the car too was, I think for me, was learning how to purchase something in a wiser way. Mm -hmm. Because in college, you know, I did purchase a Challenger, but it wasn't wise the way I did it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I got help doing it, but I was doing it off impulse because I needed a car. My car had broke down from high school and pride i wanted to be cool so i was like right, i'm gonna go get this challenger and this is what the kids like the challenger. right so now over time i've learned like man that challenger was a headache for some time but uh We're thank god that he, for getting out of that situation yeah but thank god that he brought it all back full circle and you know was able to be more wiser this time mm -hmm. and yeah. you know getting the purchase done yeah so that's what's not happened since then and look, we got a baby. And a baby, yeah. That's the that's the biggest yeah. thing. But um, yeah, I just wanted to even talk about some things I feel like God has been talking to us and kind of highlighting as we've been taking some time intentionally to be together. Mm -hmm. One thing for both of us is just how, you know, how much time we really have that we dedicate to so many other things other than Him. You know, and I think it's, it's of course you can say, you know, we do have to incorporate Him in our lives, but I think it's, we have separated like we'll have time to read sit down and read the word and stuff like that um and then we do everything else separate 
But I also think that we weren't making that time, you know, we weren't making that time, honestly speaking. Mm -hmm. Like, we would spend hours and hours on social media, hours and hours watching TV, binge watching something, hours and hours doing anything else, and not really, you know, having that same time really in the word. And at, once we had, once we had Saya and we came home, it, we really realized it, like God, well, we didn't realize it, God, brought it to our attention like you guys are really going down a slippery slope because we begin to just have a lot of idle behavior like idly scrolling because you know? you're tired it's like okay, idle time we're just wasting time because we're, you know we're both on from leave mm -hmm. or, you know work from leave and uh, on leave and we have him and so of course he, there's a lot of attending to but when it's not it's like this you sleep <laughs> you kind of got time to do you know a little something here and there and it's and you can fill with whatever you want mm -hmm. and so you're a little sleep deprived <laughs> You know, so it's like when you get a little waking time that you actually have energy, it's like, I'm going to do whatever I want. And that's what right. we were doing. And it was so fleshly. And so God had, um, he's so gracious, had really like woken us up and was like, listen, y'all can't keep like just filling your time with stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you're not getting in the word. You're not worshiping together. You're not praying together. We literally were slipping down like bad, bad. And so, you know, God had convicted us of that and corrected us. And so um, I thank him for that, you know, bringing that to our attention. And so it's been, you know, a different type of walk and it's not perfect, but it's getting better. And, and it, it comes with sacrifice, like times when, you know, I just want to do whatever I want to do in the moment, even if it's not bad. Cause here's the thing. That's always my rebuttal when I feel like God is <laughs> highlighting something to me. I'm like, well, it's not sinful. You know, but if God is telling me, hey, money, get in your word right now. Take some time and pray. Let's talk to God. I want to add some things I want to show you, whatever. And I'm, you know, saying, not right now, God, let me just do this first. Let me just do this. Let me just do this. Mm -hmm. You know, like, what am I really saying? Like, I'm, I'm really saying, like, hey, you're not as important as whatever this this is. You know, which is crazy because it's God. Right. Let's be for real. So, I, you know, I'm grateful for that. But that's something we've been walking through, too, since bringing him home. And even understanding the magnitude of, like, you have a child. Y'all can't afford to go backwards mm -hmm. <laughs> right now. Like, literally, you can never afford to go backwards, but the consequence of it, of it is now that much more important, you know, and to understand that, like, this is the time to continue to grow closer with God. And so I'm grateful, you know, we've been able to steward our time better um, and I'm still growing through it, honestly, but much better because that warning from the Lord was no joke. It was straight up like I was at the gym and he just downloaded that right into my spirit. And I was like, oh man. And you know, as God, when it's something you wouldn't tell yourself, <laughs> you know, and it's like very specific and you can feel his presence. It's like, yeah, this isn't good. So that's something we've been walking through as well in terms of being repentant. Um, what else you got to be? Yeah. Um, reading 1st Corinthians, 2nd Corinthians. Through the New Testament, or after the Gospels. Romans, Ephesians. Mm -hmm. um, God got me and Daniel right now. Um, <laughs> learned a lot about Daniel. Um, just how he was faithful to the Lord. And, you know, so many people, you know, were trying to be against him and test him and, you know, lie on him and all these different things. It's like, man, like, you know, when you're reading the Word, and you start to see Jesus in all these stories and all these situations and moments, you know, it really, really resonates to you different. And it helps you, like, really want to, you know, pursue Jesus at a deeper level for yourself. Um, yeah. And I think that's the part that I've really enjoyed because, again, going back to the foundation of God just continues to, you know, talking to me and speaking to me and downloading to me. He's just helping me learn, like, hey, how do I hear his voice? Um, in moments, what is he saying to me? You know, not being clogged up with all the other things like my wife was saying, stuff is going on, and I'm just doing stuff. You know, and then I'm fitting God into things, but actually going about like, hey, God, your will is my will. You know, so as I'm doing whatever, you know, I'm hearing God's voice and He's speaking to me because it's so important. As I lead my wife, and now as I lay the foundation for my son. You know, I want to make sure, hey, God, I'm being obedient to you, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm hearing what you're saying to me as I lead my family and you give us direction, you know, to follow you and pursue you. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I've been enjoyed, you know, this time <laughs> of being off work and being you know. with family. And Gotta steward that downtime, well, I mm -hmm. tell you. It's when you're busy and got running around and doing stuff, it's kind of like, of course, it's, it's for me, I've experienced both, where it's like I'm busy, so I feel like I don't have time to listen to whatever God tell me in the moment and or when I'm like super not busy and I feel with all this other stuff and still don't want to listen to you know, like either way it's a hard posture thing yeah. 
it's a hard thing of like, do I really make you Lord in my life or not? You know, do I love you for real or do I not? You know, and the being honest and saying, Lord, today I've not made you Lord and forgive me, like being honest about those things. So yeah, the time now is much more fruitful, enjoyable. Um, and even us being able to be honest with each other about that and any other, you know, shortcomings and areas that we're starting to see since we've been home and like still, like it's been really, really good just to feel like, hey, I can just tell the truth. Like I don't yeah. gotta worry about the fact that I know I'm making a mistake. I know I'm, you know, backslide or whatever the case may be. I can just be honest about it with my spouse and we can talk about it and okay, let's, you know, let's bring it to God together. So that's been going on a lot since we both been home. I mean, I'm back at work now, but like since we both been home and Dexter's still home now, so. Yeah, yeah, that's life lately. It was so much like I'm avoiding saying that's about the newborn, but it's gonna be this every video. So, yeah, that's been our life lately, but it's been beautiful. It's a beautiful season. Having a baby at home is beautiful. Yes. You know, it's amazing. It's like, beautiful. We gonna, yeah, we got, beautiful. A lot, we got a lot to talk about about that. But as we get ready to depart, I do wanna, you know, speak this Daniel 4 verse um, 37. Uh, this is just a part where um, King, it's hard for me to say his name, Nebuchadnezzar, ne Nebuchadnezzar <laughs> um, had been humbled and um, mm -hmm. ended up praising God. And I think that's kind of the season where we've, I guess the gist of a lot of things I've been able to really walk through is he walking through and continuously learning what humility looks like. And um, it says, now I, ne ne Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven for all his works are right and his ways are just. And those who walk in pride, he is able to humble. Mm. Um, his story is crazy too. Yeah, so he got humbled. yeah, God humbled him. And um, even, you know, just us trying to walk in humility each and every day. I think God is, you know, really testing us in that because it's easy to just be prideful and think that the world revolves around you. No, it really, you know? it really don't. And it's like, hey, well, I've called you here to serve people. <laughs> You know, help people come to know God. So that's how you should live your life. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, life update. Life lately. So those are some things you've been growing through. So stay tuned for the other video. We'll have life with a newborn updates and stuff like that. Delivery, tea, and all some other things. But also some clips of just what we do with him because he's still so small. He's just a month old. Yeah, just a one month. So. There's a lot of things we've been learning so from the biggest, probably the biggest learning curve in my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. All right, well listen, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, follow us on IG. Yeah. If you got topics or anything you wanna know or talk about, you know, feel free to hit us up. Like, hey, we love yes, you guys. Love you Thank guys. you all for tuning in and you know, being a part of our village, our community. Yeah. God loves you more than anything. God bless. Peace. Bye.